Now, how do you earn the grade for the quarter? How is that determined? Well, that depends. Um, there are two options which I use for my class. Uh, mastery option number one is I call blended mastery one, is where the teacher will set the pace. And that means that the student must demonstrate stage two of an assigned home learning stage one at the beginning of a determined class. So I'll say tomorrow you have to have done this so you can pass this quiz by tomorrow. And so if you don't do that, then you're in trouble. Because then, uh, while we keep going, you're going to be falling behind. Now, if the student fails to perform first stage one at home, uh, they must do that in class, you know, because that's you know what they do. So they must sit there in silence and individually uh, use a textbook or use a technology to access the resource on the website to learn. To do what they were supposed to do at home, they do it in class. I tell you right now, if you start doing that all the time, you will fail the year. You don't have time to do that in class because that's not what the class is about. And there also might not be enough devices, electronic devices or books for all students in class. So you really are encouraged to do your homework at home and your homework is to study. All right. Now, maybe you studied, but maybe you didn't study well enough and then you failed to pass the quiz when the quiz is taken. So that means you cannot go to stage three and five. And so while the rest of the class is going to be doing stage three and five stuff, you're going to be stuck trying to retake that quiz. So you're going to go back to stage one, you're going to study more, and when you feel you're ready again, you try to take the quiz again. Or you just try to take the quiz again. But remember that every time we try to take the quiz, it's worth less. And you can't take oral quizzes if I'm busy doing something else. And most days in class, I am busy doing something else. Now, it also means that you have less time to do the st stage three and four activities with the rest of the class. And one more thing. Uh, when you have a lab, for example, groups for the lab form at the beginning of the class. So that if like you pass the quiz, like everybody's ready to take the to, 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 to start doing the lab, and I will form the groups for the labs. But if you didn't uh, pass at first, and now you pass, then you can't just join a, a lab that's already happening. You're going to have to wait for more people that haven't passed the quiz to finish it so that you can do that. Or you're going to have to do an alternative activity. And so that's going to be detrimental for you as well. So make sure that you just do what you're supposed to do at home so you don't fall behind. If you do fall behind too, it's not the end of the world. Uh, it's just that you're going to have last class time to do stage three or five, which means, all right, that if you can't finish, all right, uh, that you, there will be a problem. We'll talk about that later. But if a student does not pass stage two ever, I mean, let's say, for example, you had three days to pass the topic. You know, in the first day, you were supposed to come to class, have watched the videos, have learned what you're supposed to learn, you passed the quiz. And then you did the activities that day. But you came to class so unprepared that instead of doing that, you wasted the whole class day. And so what now what you're going to do is you're studying that class day. So the, the second day, when most people are already doing their second lab, you're still trying to pass the quiz. When the, the topic is over, maybe the three days that were assigned for this topic are over, now you don't have time to do the topic anymore. The topic is gone. Now you must proceed to the next topic if you're doing the blended option one. And you will not receive any points for this topic until you properly complete it. Which means you're going to eventually have to pass that quiz. You're going to eventually have to do the work. You're just going to have to find time to do it. You're going to have to come at your own time to do that. Either before school or after school or during lunch. To do that, you're gonna to have to try to take the quiz at home. You're gonna to try to do as many activities as you can uh, on your own time, and as many as you can after school, before school, so you can finish the topic. So when you fall behind, that costs you, all right. And that's that's when you start failing the class. So it's very important for you to spend time at home, as much time as you need, to make sure you come to correct class ready for that quiz because it's mastery. If you don't pass it, you're not going anywhere, and you're not getting any points. And if I'm doing blended mastery number one. When a topic is over, we move on to the next topic, even if you didn't finish it. And that's kind of how it works. All right? Now, if you did pass the test, all right, so you're going to spend the, t the rest of the time that you have for that topic you, you, uh, with stage three or five mastery tasks. And you must earn enough points for those tasks so you can fa finish the topic. If you do not earn enough points before the topic is over, then you must do the same thing that the other person did. You must use your own time to finish that. Now, you're going to repeat this over and over again until... Uh, you finish uh, all the topics and then take the unit test, okay? Now, in blended option number one, the unit test is going to come the day that it comes. 
doesn't matter if you finished the topics or didn't. You know, uh, maybe you passed some, maybe you didn't pass others, but you're going to have to take that unit test the day that it's due. All right. Now, if you don't pass the unit test, you can retake it. You can do some remediation tasks, correct the questions you missed, things like that. If you don't pass the test in the first attempt, all right. But if you chose to take the unit test before completing all the topics, in other words, if the day the, t the unit test came and you were not ready, you had not mastered all the topics for that test yet, then you can't retake the question test or do any remediation tasks. All right, the remediation test options are only available for students who finished all the topics. So this is how you pay for not doing your work. You know. And that's when you fail the class as well. So that's why you have to do re you have to do what you got to do. You got to study. If not, you're gonna have trouble. And you have to seek help if you fall behind. You know. Now we usually start the year with this option because depending on it's a little hard to understand how the master system works. So instead of giving full freedom for the people to set their own pace, I pretty much do what teachers normally do. I say there's a quiz tomorrow, there's a test this day, and so forth. And so the only difference is that. Unlike the other system, where uh, if you um, get an F on a test, you at least get a low F. On this system, you would not get no grade until you master the, the, the topic. You know, you can't fail it. You can only pass it. And if you don't pass it, you don't get the grade for it. And that's kind of how it works. It sounds scary, but it's actually a good thing because you have unlimited attempts at the quiz and at the topic. So, uh, but it is tricky though. So. Um, and then depending on how well the class responds to option one, we then go on to option two, usually sometime in the middle of the year. And then we may return to option one, though, if the option two doesn't work, you know. But I don't like option one because it's really hard to do well in that option one if you're going to be a slacker, you know, because if you're going to slack off, the topic is going to keep on rolling and you're not going to be learning anything. But that's just the same thing that happens in a regular classroom anyways, you know. So... It basically becomes a regular classroom, in which I kind of hate, you know. So the whole point of this is to transform the classroom experience. So uh, I don't like using option one because it sounds too much like a regular, a regular classroom. So I like to use option two instead.